<laughs> instant hookup. There are so many fish in here right now. All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is our last night here in the South Florida. As you can tell, we are back at Blind Pass. Gonna try to get on a few more snook before we head back. We might fish some tomorrow morning too before we leave, not for sure. Really depends on how tonight goes. Uh, but right now there's a ton of people fishing around the bridge. So I'm actually gonna fish on this side right now, see if I can find anything hanging back here. We got an incoming tide. So maybe we got some fish pushed back over this way. Last time we were here, some boats were wearing them out on that side. So I'm gonna try to see if there's any shallow areas I can wade out a little bit, maybe cast over that way. Just see what we can get into. And then as some people dissipate as the day goes on, I'll transition a little closer to the bridge, see if we can get on some monster snook. That's the goal. Beach Bum's out here with us. He went down walking towards the other side. Brant is already back in Pensacola. So it's just me and Beach Bum here, trying to see what we can get on today. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. It really does help me out a ton. Helps the channel grow, helps this video get shared to more and more people. Enough of that, let's get in to some fishing. All right guys, so the other day when we were here, Beach Bum was doing pretty good throwing the Ozuri. So that's what I got tied on right now. I'm gonna try that this afternoon. Don't have any live bait. So sticking with all artificial today. We're just gonna throw around this little cove here. See if we got any snook hanging out. Waiting on some people to leave and that bridge to clear up a little bit. If y'all are enjoying these South Florida vids so far, y'all comment down below, let me know. Definitely gonna try to do some more traveling and get some other stuff for y'all. Always good to switch it up a little bit. So I hope y'all are enjoying these South Florida videos. But if y'all are mainly here for the panhandle stuff, do not worry, because I will be right back at it as soon as we get back into town. So I will have in some other panhandle surf fishing videos coming up for you next week. Fish on over here, blind pass. Believe we may have a ladyfish and it got off. Definitely a ladyfish. Oh, got one, got one, got one. Come on, come on. So we got a uh, ladyfish. Got a lady. Oh. Hopped off right there at the beach. Where's the snook? Where's the snook? I need to find a couple snook. There we go, there we go, got another one. Got another one. Let's not jump and see if we got something different on here. Oh, there's the jump. There's the jump. Crazy lady. This one literally beached itself and got the hook. Had a hook in its mouth and down on its body. There we go. Crazy fish, huh? Oh, oh, I got hit and got off. There we go. There we go. Another one. Spit the hook. Jumped and spit it. Oh, instantly. <laughs> Instant hookup. There are so many ladyfish in here right now. Maybe we'll get lucky and have a school of snook and mix with them. That would be freaking sweet. There's the jump. Got off again. God, these things are feisty. Oh, <laughs> seriously, instant hookups. This is nuts. Let's see if we can get this one to the beach. Oh, that one's fighting good. Whew. I just hit myself in the face with that lure. This thing spit the hook so freaking easy. It ain't very big, whatever it is. A lizard fish. A lizard fish. Not a bad one at all. Is that good for bait? 
if you're gonna be able to see in the water here but there are so many snook laid up right there right over there I can see a bunch over that way I threw this azuri in there once and they had no interest I'm gonna go ahead and tie on a little bucktail see if maybe I can jig it in front of their face and get them interested all right y'all I got this bucktail tied on now see if I can work my way down a little bit without killing myself Come on. One of them has got to be interested. There's so many of them. God, I'm getting eat up by bugs. I mean, look at these snook. This is crazy, guys. So many snook. And none of them are interested in this. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but I'm about to crawl down into the abyss. Oh, watch for snakes. I'm thinking I'm going to kind of be able to get around where more of those snook are hanging out. Maybe. I'm going to try not to die while I'm down here. Of course I'm barefoot because why would I wear shoes? Alright. So there's a little bit of a walk through here. And these snook I was showing y'all are literally right under that tree. Let's see if I can sneak out a little bit and see anything. They were also all the way around this corner. Yeah, they're literally right there, guys. Dude, they are right freaking there. This is so frustrating. Ugh. Dang it. Got tangled up and broke off. On the beach, back with the Yozuri. Those snook were not interested at all. I did come over here to the other side of the pass. It, it's a little crowded over there. Let's see if we get anything going over here. The other night when we started catching snook, it was like right before sunset, so. May have to wait it out a little bit longer. Hopefully it'll pay off for us though. So. Alright guys, there's a stingray right there. That is the first stingray I've seen on this entire trip. As many miles as we've walked down the beach. That is the first one. I was beginning to wonder if they even had stingrays here. Hey guys, there we go. It's not, uh, I was about to say it's not jumping and then it jumped. <laughs> Dang. Thought we were going to have us a good one. Then it jumped and spit it. Another lady. There we go. Got another one on. Let's see if we can keep it pinned this time. Oh, is that a lady? Is that a lady? Yeah, it is. Kind of looked like it had some different color on it for a second. Yeah. Come on. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a ladyfish. <laughs> another lady. Here in a minute, I'm gonna get hooked. Think I got another ladyfish. It's gonna be a dang snook. I'll be pleasantly surprised. That is what I'm waiting on. It has got to be almost snook time. Sunsets in about 45 minutes. 
They should be getting fired up here soon. Let's see how many we can catch before it gets dark. All right, there's not much of a sunset because there's so many clouds, but the sun is going down. If this is gonna happen, it is about to happen any minute. See if we can get us a snooky on. The other night right about now, they were literally blowing up all over the place. So kind of what I'm waiting on. I have not seen any of that yet. Just keep my eyes open, looking all around. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, he got off, he got off. Dang it. Not 100% if that was a ladyfish or a snook, but it got off. Let's see if we can get hooked up again here. There we go, got him on again. That definitely is a ladyfish. That is a lady. Oh, pulling some drag, doing some flips. Mr. Tarpon, these ladyfish down here are freaking strong, man. Jeez. Get out of here. Go tell your snook buddies to come eat. Here, snooky, snooky. Where are the snooky? There he is. Got him. Got him. Another lady. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Dude, shook the hook and freaking hooked me. That ain't no good. Look at that. All right, got it. That was exciting. Fish on, fish on. What do we got? Based on this fight, I'm pretty sure it's another lady. Yeah, you want it? Some guys on the bridge fishing, wants them for some bait. Oh, we're on again, we're on again. We're running out of daylight too. They get off? Oh, he's still there. Another lady, spit the hook. See ya. Where are the snook? Definitely thought they'd be blowing up by now. And we got another lady fish. Come on. Spit the hook right there. That's what we like. Where are the snook? There we go. Another lady. I don't even know how many freaking lady fish I've caught today. But it's a bunch. And they're on again. Every cast. I need a every cast we get a snook. That's what we need. Come on, shake it. All right, there you go, now you're done. There we go, another dang lady. Come on, shake it. Shake it like a salt shaker. We are trekking through the water trying to find our beach. Did not know this was necessarily the way we had to go to this place. Got some horseshoe crabs. I don't really know what they're doing. There's four of them. Is the mama just like dragging the three babies? I don't know. Kind of what it looks like. A little strange. Got him. There we go. First fish out here. And it is a <laughs> foul hook puffer fish. I'm all about foul hooking stuff today. <laughs> I put a hole in your blowhole there, buddy. <laughs> hey, 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 
Well guys, we were not able to make it happen and find another stook this morning, but still had a blast out on this trip. We're getting packed up, ready to head back north right now. I'm gonna leave everybody's link in the description. Big shout out for Jeff to let us stay in this place right here. I'm gonna have it all linked down below. If y'all wanna come stay here, you can stay in the same place that we all stayed in this week. Pretty awesome condo. Got the heated pool and the canal right here. Can't beat it. Also a big shout out to Matt and Brant for helping me get down on this trip, making it possible, as well as Softy's Pompano Rigs. Could not have done this trip without all of them. If y'all enjoy this traveling and doing fishing like this, make sure y'all comment down below, like the video, and go subscribe. That way we can make more of this content for y'all. So anyways, we're going to get ready, head back to the house, and I will catch y'all back in Bama.